The Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, or rather 2021, are right around the corner. Working for the Olympics is a dream of many. And while some might do free volunteering, I had the honor to work full time and get paid. In this video, I will talk about how I got the job, what my duties were, how my overall experience and the working conditions were, how the pandemic affected us workers and the games, and why I quit my position as an IT manager before the actual games. So drop a like and let's start. So I work for the IT department of the Tokyo 2020 Organizing Committee. As the name already suggests, this committee was only formed to organize the games so most jobs are temporary by nature. So some people work there for a couple of years and some are hired only when needed. Like me, I worked as an IT engineer slash manager who was responsible for setting up all the necessary equipment for broadcasting service in an Olympic venue. That means PCs, networks, monitors, printers and other tech stuff you might need. The technological knowledge itself wasn't too crazy. It was more about the planning and organizing skills. But let me get to that in a minute when I talk about the experience itself. I got hired through a dispatch company, or in Japanese called Haken Gaisha, or even more precisely a recruiter of said company that I've been talking to for some while in my previous job. Personal contacts are crucial in Japan to get a better job, so I was really lucky to establish that connection. Even though this was an IT position, I have no computer science background, I studied sports management. But as I said, the technological knowledge was of lesser importance and it was more about other skills. My main qualifications are my language skills. As you see, I'm somewhat able to speak English, my Japanese is okay, I'm a native German, and through my mother I also know Polish. Languages are really the key in such an international environment. As we had people from all over the world working there, many people who had been working on other games like in Rio or the FIFA World Cup, the IT department works really closely with a company called Atos, which has been helping with setting up all the tech stuff for the games for many many years now. Because of that my interviews were both with the Tokyo Olympic Committee and Atos. They both went pretty smoothly and I got a little practice exercise to demonstrate my planning and organizing skills. But overall, it wasn't any black magic. So how was the working experience? As I said, I was responsible for setting up all the tech in an Olympic venue. But there were no games, so no work? Well, not quite. The reason for that is there are many, many practice events to make sure that the actual games will run very smoothly. We do many simulations, setting up the tech in empty venues, sometimes inviting some amateur athletes to test it all out, then sending all the equipment back, since most of it is borrowed from Panasonic. Sonic. God knows what will happen to the thousands of PCs and monitors that are used in the games. Yeah, so much for sustainability. It was really cool to see the Olympic venues from the inside. As I was working in the new Olympic Stadium, the gymnastics center which was still under construction during our test event, and the equestrian horse riding park in Setagaya. Unfortunately, I cannot show you any self-recorded footage because I'm bound by my contract to not post anything on any social media. So I will result to stock footage for that video, but I hope what I have to say is interesting nevertheless. Apart from the competition venues there are some other venues as well like the athletes village or the venue I worked in the Olympic Broadcasting Center which was located in Tokyo Big Site. Tokyo Big Site is a humongous exposition center and many of you probably know it for the Comic Con event where you can see all those amazing cosplayers. Well currently it is being transformed into one huge temporary office and it really showed me how grand the scale for an event like the Olympics actually is. We installed way over 1000 PCs in Tokyo Big Site alone. Here is where the planning and organizing skills come into play because you have to coordinate with other teams like the construction workers or electricians to make all operations as quick and smooth as possible. Shout out to my mentor and teacher Carlos who was training me when I just joined the committee and also was a guest in my Japan Chris show. So check that video out. Overall the work experience was fantastic as I learned a lot and I could see all those venues from inside. Pay was also pretty good especially considering my age and I haven't had any significant overtime outside of events. Games time would have been more stressful I'm sure, but of course there was this little thing in 2020 that happened that postponed the games. When the whole discussion started in early 2020, even in the committee we didn't know for a long time what would happen.
happened. There were rumors going around, but outside of the committee leaders, no one really knew what the actual decision would be. But when it finally happened, we were all told to work from home and all test events were stopped. So most work were just theoretical planning. Yeah, it really wasn't all too busy during that time, I can tell you that. No one really knew if the games were still gonna happen or not. During the summer of 2020, we were all in this limbo state. But as far as I can tell, most members were actually really positive and excited because they had a burning passion for sports and the Olympic Games, so they really wanted it to happen. But this whole thing leads me to the point of why I quit my position as an IT manager. My original contract was until October 2020, after the Paralympic Games would have ended and all the equipment was recovered. As I said in summer it was really unclear whether the games would happen in 2021, 2022, whether they'd be cancelled completely and I personally thought they're gonna be cancelled altogether. Let me know in the comments if you think it is the correct decisions to go on with the games with no spectators as it is planned right now. At that time I already found a position as a programmer from October 2020, which was way too good to pass up, so of course I took it. Pure market competition, no place for romanticism, I'm sorry. I'm a mercenary. No, just kidding. I definitely appreciate the experience that I had, and I could imagine myself working for another Olympic Games in the future. And so might one of you, so who knows, maybe we will meet each other in Paris or Los Angeles. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one. Sayonara.